Welcome back to Lexan Sweden. Gord Miller, Pierre Maguire just coming up on 20 to 7 now local time and Canada and the United States are making time stand still. They're going to a shootout. The winner will go to the semi or the finals rather of the World Junior Hockey Championship. It'll be a three round shootout. Carey Price stands tall. The United States out shooting Canada 12 to 2 in the overtime. Because of the power play presence of the Americans, because of the Latang penalty on Jack Johnson, that led to all the chances against Carey Price. He was heroic obviously during that power play opportunity for the Americans. The Tang and Taylor Chorney right now talking to the official off run mark from Sweden. It's going to be a coin toss. Normally the home team would go second, but they'll call it. And we'll see if you get a chance to shoot first or second. In the National Hockey League, by the way, teams that shoot first win more often. And we'll see. So the tank called it. Canada wins the toss, and we'll see what the decision was, and then we'll see who the shooters are. Russia and Sweden are set to face off in about 47 minutes from now. Not likely. They're going to have to wait. Canada's only other shootout at the World Junior was against the U.S. in the bronze medal game in Shaleftio in 2000. So they'll get the shootout order settled and Canada's reign as the back-to-back -back World Junior champions rests on this shootout. Crazy's going to be in first. Canada will shoot first. And all the shots will be at one end. It'll be downy for Canada. Steve Downey against Jeff Frazee. And this crowd not so much cheering as it is now holding its collective breath. Say what you want about it. It is compelling drama. And Canada's been in more than a few of these in international hockey over the years. Steve Downey from Queensville, Ontario, the first shooter for Canada. And away we go in the shootout. Steve Downey on Frazee. Downey. Head check by Frazee. And the Canadians are arguing that Frazee threw his stick. Yeah, they are. But Downey is turned away. The Canadian bench is living. Let's see. Downey comes in, makes a move. Hard to tell from there. First shooter for the U.S. is Patrick Kane, the 18-year-old. He didn't throw a stick. Kane for the U.S. Chance to give the Americans the lead. Kane, in on Price. Kane, stopped by Carey Price. And this is a part of Carey Price's game that's improved so much. Staying with shooters and then stretching out and making himself look big. And not only does he make the save, he puts a little tug on Kane's foot. The shooter for Canada is Brian Little. Doesn't have a goal in the tournament, but he was third in OHL scoring when he left for the Canadian camp. And Little comes steaming in. Shoots, scores! And Little leaps into the Canadian bench. And Mueller will shoot for the Americans. Comes screaming in with some speed and just snaps it low glove side. Ooh, Darren Helm happy with that one. In comes Mueller for the United States. Mueller with a chance to tie it. Mueller in scores. 1-1. One, one. Going into the third round. Jonathan Taze will shoot for Team Canada. He scored on a penalty shot against the Americans in the last game. Mueller comes in, just goes high glove on Carey Price. Taves with a chance to put Canada ahead again. And in comes Taves. Taves. Shoot scores! And now Canada can win it. Winnipeg, Manitoba. Be proud of Jonathan Taves. Chicago Blackhawk fans get real excited about Jonathan Taves. Two situations against the Americans like that, twice he scored in big moments. Jack Johnson will shoot for the United States. Try to keep his team alive. In comes Johnson on Carey Price. Johnson scores. And the shootout continues. Now round four. His future is so bright. Los Angeles Kings. He's cheering him on for a long time. He's got the offensive upside, he's got the grit, and he's got talent. Now 
Little will shoot again for Canada. And you can use anyone you want after the first three. Little scored two shots ago to give Canada the lead. Coming in again on Jeff Frazee. In comes Little. Hope check by Frazee. And now the Americans can win it. See, Frazee remembered Little shooting, and Frazee was deep in the net. Watch how far out Gord Frazee comes out to challenge on Little. He comes out so Little knows he's going to have to make a move, and there's the active stick. That's good goaltending. Very good goaltending by Frazee. And now Kane can win it for the United States. Patrick Kane, in on Price. Kane shoots, stopped by Price, and the puck is just on the line. <laughs> oh, Carey Price just kept it out. Kane tries to beat a five hole. And the Americans want it to go to video yeah. review. will shoot again for Canada. Taves to give Canada the lead. Here comes Taves. Shoot scores! That is a major league kabong. What a goal by Jonathan Taves. There's no room for error. He does this against Zach Kopp. There's no room for error on that shot. That's off the niche and in. Now Price will face Bueller. Canada's second chance to win it in the shootout. And in comes Bueller. Mike Barnett and Wayne Gretzky are watching this in Phoenix, and they're saying, can we get this guy in the lineup? What a shot that is. Cogliano will shoot next for Canada. It's round six. Cogliano, he a crazy score. And Cogliano does the leap. Just getting like Lambeau Field. This guy's scoring, hopping right into the bench. And that's the second time Team Canada's beaten Frazee that low glove side. You saw Little do it and then Cogliano. Jack Johnson saved the Americans in round three. In he comes again. Jack Johnson on Price scores. On to round seven we go. And it'll be Taves again for Canada. Wow. It's a release. It's just a release point. You just see the guys that are NHL ready, and there's a guy that's NHL ready. Taves is two for two in the shootout. And he comes again. Makes the move, scores. This guy is unbelievable. Yes, he is. Canada has scored five times on seven attempts, but the shootout continues. And the Americans are going back to Mueller. He's two for two. He's going to get arm weary. Three times the Americans of face elimination three times they've scored three times teams use a different move in comes Mueller on price Peter Mueller in stopped by price Canada scoring to the gold medal game at the world junior hockey championship Where he grew up, Williams Lake is also his hometown. Those plane rides were worth it. 
His dad, Jerry, used to fly him by their own plane down to practice. He lost the under-18 gold medal game to this man, Jeff Frazee, and Frazee, who came in as the American starter in Game 3, was tremendous for the United States. There wasn't one player that played for their respective countries today that took a day off. 17 straight wins for Canada at the World Junior. None more knee-knocking than this. And again, it's time for O'Canada. Sutures came out after that celebration. And Chris Letang was the third player chosen. And for the United States, now we'll have three players chosen. And then we'll have O'Canada. Jack Johnson will play in the bronze medal game tomorrow. That'll be his last game for the U.S. National Junior Team. And it will draw to a close one of the great careers in U.S. Junior Hockey. And the next time you see Jack and Eric Johnson wearing Team yeah. U.S. uniforms after this, Olympics will be in Vancouver at the yeah. Olympics. They both got a great chance to be there. And I'll tell you, this guy's got a chance to go number one in the NHL entry, Jack. Patrick Kane of the London Knights. And now, the Canadians, after pulling it out, will hear the song again.